Hi, in this video we will be going over how to apply multiple patterns to capture a data region in a Stara report miner. Moreover, we'll also have a look at how to use the apply pattern to line option to capture the lines of a region which occur above the line where the pattern is found. Let's look at this sample orders report where we want to capture all the order details such as the order ID and ship date. Since the order ID does not follow a fixed format, meaning the position of alphabet and digit in the ID is not consistent, we will use the ship date as the pattern. Let's go ahead and create a new data region. Go to model layout, right click on the record node and select add data region. Rename the region to orders. Specify the ship date as the pattern in the orange pattern bar above the designer. Use the wildcards match any digit to keep the date flexible. Here, notice that the lines containing the date have become a part of the region. In order to capture the order ID, we'll use apply pattern to line. But first, we need to increase the line count of the region. We can go to the region properties by clicking anywhere on the gray area and increasing the line count of the region to 2. As you can see, when we increase the line count of the region, the lines below the line where the pattern is matched are added to the region. Whereas, we want to include lines above the lines where the pattern is matched to the region. To fix that, we can go to the pattern properties by clicking on the orange pattern bar and increasing the value for the apply pattern to line option to 1. This option determines the number of lines you want to add to the region found above the lines where the pattern exists. And here we go, our region has been identified correctly. Next, let's create data fields. Select the field on the designer, right click on it and click on add data field. We can rename the field to order ID in the field properties panel. Make sure that there are no spaces in the name of the field. We can also change the data type of the field. Remove any spaces or unwanted characters from the data captured or edit the size and position of the field. Here, we want to remove unwanted area captured as the field by resizing the field length. In the field properties panel, there is an option to auto determine field length. Click on it and the field will be resized automatically. Similarly, create the ship date field and your orders region is complete. Now, let's abstract the items ordered within each order in a collection region. This collection region is a child of the orders region as each order can contain multiple items. Click on the yellow icon Add Collection Data Region. A yellow data icon will be added to the model layout. Rename the region to Items. Now, notice that each item has a specific item code which we can use as a pattern to extract all the item details. The pattern is a combination of three alphabets, a hyphen and five digits. So, we can use wildcards to specify the pattern. Next, notice that some item codes are different from this pattern. The digits in the codes appear before the alphabets. For example, rugs has a slightly different format of the item code. Therefore, it is not captured by the pattern we just specified. In this scenario, to capture the region completely, we'll specify another pattern. You can specify up to 5 patterns in a single report model. Go to the Pattern Properties panel and increase the pattern count to 2. As you can see, another pattern bar has appeared. On the second pattern bar, specify another pattern where the 5 digits come before the 3 alphabets, separated by a hyphen. And now, all the lines with item details have been captured completely. Now that we have captured all the item codes which are aligned vertically, we can create data fields. Select the item name on the designer, right click on it and select add data field from the list of options. Rename the field in the field properties panel. Do the same for the quantity field. Notice that the quantity of section sofa is not captured correctly. We can fix that by removing the field marker to the left by one character. Using the same method create the rest of the fields. Again. Make sure to give appropriate names to the fields and set the correct data type. Now that we have extracted all the relevant fields, let's save the report model by clicking on the save icon. Locate the directory where you want to save the file and give it an appropriate name. Preview the data using the preview data option from the toolbar above the designer. A data preview window will open. 
In this window, expand the node twice to see if all the item details in the first order have been extracted correctly. Here, notice that the item name office chairs only appears once. To fix that, click on the item name field to open its field properties. Specify the value if null as use from previous record from the drop down menu and save the report model again. Preview the data once more. Now all the item details are captured correctly. To sum it up, we started off by exploring the apply pattern to line option and the multiple patterns feature. These functionalities give users more flexibility when capturing data regions within an unstructured document. Finally, we used several field properties to configure our data fields. On that note, let's conclude this video tutorial. For more information on how to use a Stellar Report Miner, please visit our documentation site. Thank you for watching this video.